Praise God. God is good all the time. You know, as a, I heard this morning and yesterday morning, I woke up and go, oh, my. Hear this. I heard this this morning. You are on your own. You do not want to be on your own. My, I hear some people saying no. It is an awesome thing. You are responsible if you are on your own. And that is probably why you are on today. You're saying, oh, where did this come from? I feel like, where is God? We got an answer for you today. Amen. It's a good thing to know where God is. My, my. You're just waiting for that answer. Here's the very thing. It says this in Acts 2, 21. They that call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. If you, whatever reason that, that you've put yourself, you have put yourself in this place of where is God? I feel so all alone. Where is my help? Daddy God did not leave us helpless. Up to this, do you know you can run into the presence of God anywhere in this earth because God created it. With his words he spoke and there was creation. With his words... The earth became without form and void, and yet God, because of his heart, he spoke, his, his spirit first moved upon it, and then he spoke. And those words caused a recreation. Those words started a new beginning. The very reason why we are all alone is because we let someone else's words take over our life. We allow the authority and the, the, the very thing that uh, people have made a habit. Do you know this earth and the enemy of this, of, this, of this people that God has called in these days is to cause you to be all alone. And how do you do that? By words. It is the words and the habits and the traditions of men that cause the word of God to no effect. And you have taken on yourself to take and eat of from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and not of the tree of life. My, how did I do that? You trusted in somebody else's words to, to make, to cause and to perform life in your life. But there's only one way that leads unto life. And, and Daddy God knew that this day you needed a Savior. You needed not to be all alone. But this very day, this very day, you are not alone. Because of the God who loves us, over 2,000 years ago, he made a way. And hear this. Do you know, for many hundreds of years before Jesus came upon the earth, it was prophesied, and he fulfilled everything. God's word moved and did everything onto the T. His word was fulfilled. It wasn't maybe, it wasn't sometimes, because that very person that you've taken um, the word to and their advice as to what life is, it probably failed you. And I know that it has. Because there is only one way that leads to life, and his name is Jesus. Oh, my. And if you call upon the name of the Lord, it's not just saying this name Jesus. But the identity, if you call upon the identity, the authority of God in your life, you shall be saved. So lay down. Say, fooey on those very things. Those, you know, my family has done it this way all the time. You know, that's probably why you probably run into trouble. I see people. Do you know that there's a whole bunch of people called sinners going to church today? There's a whole bunch of people that want to make believe that they're okay and then leave this building and go on sinning. Sinning. Causing death. You know what death is? Death is the absence of God in your life. If you desire to do the things that are not in God's will, you will have the absence of of God, and that is hell. That is the very thing. You are on your own. At a very young age, as a, as a child or, and a young youth, I got the opportunity to see, to witness, to have a vision of what hell is like. And it is a very scary thing. But don't take my word. Uh, you're probably right there right now. And I'll give you an answer what it is. 
It says this. Again, I will say it one more time. Acts 2 and 21. They that call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Calling upon the identity, the authority of God. It is, says this in, in Hebrews 11.6. It's in, without faith, it's impossible to please him, please God. But they that come to God must believe that he is. You know, it's not that you're trying to go to heaven. Just allow me to say this. You're probably experiencing hell without God. And so this is what God said. I sent my word, became flesh, so that you could see, so that you can, that it could be manifest before you what my kingdom, what my lifestyle is in the earth, with signs following, miracles occurring. And all we have to do is trade it in. For with our hearts we believe unto righteousness, and with our mouth profession is made unto salvation. It's all about words. Trade in those words today. Trade in those things that have caused you to lose prosperity, that which lose health, that which lose peace. Those very things are a curse in Deuteronomy 28. Read this. But right now, if you want prayer, I tell you what I know you do. If you want to go to, to prayer at bami.org, you can go there and someone will talk. You need, if you need this fulfilled in your life, you do. You need to, that which you believe. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. You must believe that he is. Today, this will help you. Today, God is. You said, where is God? God, his, his presence is heaven. You can reach that place and not wait till you die. But the very death that you want to do is, I want to die to my old self. And I want to be reborn in the likeness, in the newness. This Jesus died three days in the, in the grave, and on the third day, he rose from the dead. And just like you, you can, you can arise from not having that feeling, not that presence. It could be a new life, a rebirth today that you have because you believe that God sent his son, died upon the cross, was beaten and bruised for you, that you may know that he is. And all we have to do is say, I yield myself. I believe. Daddy God, I believe. I trust in you today. I thank you that you love me and that you've made the way that I can have life eternal. And that's through faith. Nothing that I can do. Now, I don't have to rub my hands on beads or walk up and down on my knees on a stairway. But because I believe that your words are true, I trade in my words, my life, and I allow your life to arise in me. And I say, thank you, Daddy. Thank you for providing that which came through your word, which is your son, born of a Virgin Mary, was beaten and sent to the cross and died. Third day, he rose again so that we also may arise. He being the firstborn of many, today you are rising in him because of faith. And we just thank you, Daddy, for all that you're doing in us and for this new life in Jesus' name. Amen. Everybody said amen. Praise God. 